Look out, Sophie. I'm filming. Okay, well, I got the other side of this thing packed up, and hopefully my vents are in the right areas. Still got a little cleanup to do in a couple of the runners there, but um, I think we're ready to put this thing together and go for the pour. So, so far I've got oh, about an hour and a half tied up in this. Just to come in and out, in and out, in and out. Now I gotta get that wiggled out of there without disturbing any of the sand around the corners and edges and give her a little tippy tap. This is the time and it'll make her break all this effort. So, we'll see you once I pry this thing out of here and uh, we'll put it together and uh, we'll heat up some silver. Now, we have a situation here is how much silver to put in there. So I took his 10 ounce bar, chopped it all up, an old wood pour there and it looks pretty close so I'm gonna add another little bit how about a little bear to top it off it was a little failure but we'll make good use of it okay we'll see you over at the fire okay so I got the map on it and then I'm gonna put the HG axle on it as well because it's a big big pork and uh, you know, I don't want to waste too much time or gas, so that's where it'll be. So we'll be back at pouring time. And you guys have watched lots of silver being melted, so there's nothing, nothing fancy about this part. I really wish I could uh, get a decent camera angle on what's going on in the furnace now. I am at uh, 12 minutes to get that great big lump of silver going and it's uh it's looking not bad you know there's still a little some hang ons in the bottom so we'll just keep pounding the heat to it until we're good okay here we go um, by far my biggest pork I got silver all over the place here, but we definitely had enough to uh, fill this puppy up. And there's some sticking out of the vents, so I don't know. Well, I don't know when you guys do. Let's see what became of our lighter. Oh my goodness. Did I get a full pour? I'm actually a little bit surprised. No way. Wow. 
Okay, I uh, my bucket isn't big enough here, so I'm gonna go out to the snow, cool this off, bring it back in. See you in a bit. Okay, well, uh, there it is. I cannot believe how reactive silver is to heat transfer. It is just amazing. I dipped it in the snow once and it made just a little bit of a fizz. Dipped it in twice and uh, heat transfer is done. Let's have a look here. I should get a total weight here for you. But you know what? In a couple hours uh, file and polish and I think we've got a got a pretty good duplicate here it could have been maybe just a little hotter but uh, we'll see what file and polish does for it uh, as far as weight As far as weight, we have pressure. Sure. <laughs> How about we stand her up? Oh, I overloaded it. Uh -uh. Yep, it's over whatever this scale will do. But once it gets uh, sprue off it and uh, runners like that, we got it. We got a good one. All right, let's. Uh, well, let's see what we got here for uh, sprue and vents. We have 3.58 and 10.96. Three point five eight, ten point nine six. I better write that down. And it's gonna shed some weight. Uh, I don't know by the time I get it all cleaned up, but um, a little concerned about the front here, but just I think it's gonna be okay. So that was a bunch of fun, and uh, well, I know one day you'll be seeing it from Mr. D. Grand Prix when it's all finished, or I might even get back to it all finished up, but uh, it was definitely a lot of fun.